Hi, I'm George Kay, and this is my father Niels. Hi. Welcome back to Father and Synthesizer. It's been a while, hasn't it? Two weeks. Yes. New schedule. Yeah. And we'll be back again in two weeks as well. I'm um, sorry if I sound a bit weird. I've been sick for a week, and it's just uh, just getting better slowly. So, today's the video we've been waiting for for months and months now. We have been developing a synthesizer for the past three months, our very own wavetable synthesizer. This is the longest and most arduous project we have worked on yet. And uh, this video is going to be part one of two, because uh, there's just too much to fit into one video. This video will mainly be the sound demo and me explaining how the thing works. And next week, uh, no, not next week, in two weeks, in two weeks we'll be talking about the development and all of the things that went wrong, and trust me, there were many. <laughs> now, to the selling point of this video and this project. This whole synthesizer, if you were to build it yourself, make your own PCB and all that, is going to cost you less than 50 euro if you can source all your parts. And if you do everything yourself, it will be less than 50 euros for a full paraphonic 8-voice synthesizer. And uh, we developed this thing our own, it's all original software because yes, it is a digital synthesizer. Because how else would you, would you do this for less than 50? You can't build uh, 8 analog oscillators for less than 50 euros and not a lot of space in the rack. Because it's a, it's a relatively small module as well. What's special about our wavetable synthesizer is that the, the filter part was done analog. We started to uh, use a Moog filter type. Like the Raging Bull, uh, yeah. we've shown it uh, on, the, on the show before. Yes, indeed. And uh, to my great shame, I have to admit, filters are my uh, Achilles heel. And um, your nemesis. My nemesis, and I, I couldn't get it to work. And at, at some point, I was fed up with it, and I said, let's stick with what we know. And uh, we decided to, to build another voltage controlled filter designed by Ray Wilson. We did, uh, went for the, the small one, the 12 dB. Yeah, because there are so many polyphonic and paraphonic synthesizers out there with a 24 dB filter and we thought we'd try something different because there are not a lot of 12 dB filters out there. So that's why we went for that. And the footprint, footprint is very small of that filter. Yeah. Very cost efficient. And now without further ado, let me show you around the synthesizer. And this is it. This is the wavetable synth we've been working on for the past three months. And uh, as you can see from the faceplate, we've got a, uh, a nice OLED screen here. We've got uh, some settings, an encoder and a shift button. And uh, you can ignore this and this, because this is all this isn't, isn't the finished faceplate yet. This is just a basic idea, just something we can work with. Now I'd like to start with the features. As I've mentioned, we've got the OLED screen and the encoder and all that. And then we've got an envelope generator here. This is uh, not an analog envelope generator. This is part of the uh, program, part of the software. And uh, what isn't part of the software is this analog 12 dB filter down here. Now let me demonstrate this. That's the music from outer space filter by Ray Wilson. And uh, if I turn this down a little, and you can notice down here, I have an envelope amount. And I can set this by cycling through the screen, holding shift and moving the encoder. And then I can set the attack time of the envelope, the filter envelope. And I can either click, which doesn't work yet, or I can click and hold and turn this. Or I can hold shift and turn the encoder again to switch between attack and decay of the filter. This is just a trigger envelope, so not a gate. So once it runs its course, it holds there. Back here we have the waveform, which you can cycle through using the encoder. Let's, uh, let's use a square wave. And as you notice, when I hold down one key, or two keys, I hold two notes, and then play something else, this is more obvious if I turn the filter down a little. The, 
entire filter gets moved up so you can hear all of the notes again because this is just one single filter for up to eight voices. Now let's move on to the pulse width because you can actually set the pulse width with this encoder. So it sounds a bit glitchy. This isn't a finished product yet, it's still very much in development. And here in the main card again you can also change the MIDI channel, which we're not going to do right now because that's not working yet either. It's listening to all MIDI channels at the moment, but that's a simple software fix. And as you can see the filter can also take external CV. Uh, down here I have an LFO plugged in and let's hear that. you can also turn the filter into band pass mode but we haven't wired that up yet just yet maybe version 1.1 will have that let's start out by making a sound let's make a bass sound for that I'm going to go into the uh, waveform going to have the square wave again because that sounds really cool in bass I'm going to set the pulse width to somewhere on the middle Let me just reset the filter Yeah, I like that. Down here we also have an oscilloscope, by the way. Now let's set, a, set the filter. That sounds good. Let's add, the, add an envelope to that. Instant attack, I like that. quite what I want yet. That's a nice bass sound, very basic. And this is all just the Wavetable synth, it's one of the, it is the biggest project we've ever done and I really like having it. Now let's cycle through all the waveforms so you can hear what the waveforms sound like clean. This is the sawtooth. Sine wave, triangle, and finally square. And pretty much that was that for the wavetable synthesizer. We have worked on this thing for so long now and I'm so happy to finally have it sitting in a rack here and working with it. I've uh, recorded a song with it yesterday when we first tried it out. It's not a good song but the only synth I used on that song was this wavetable synth and some drum samples and logic. I'm going to play you a bit now and hear what you can do with a little bit of effects and this synthesizer. And just now uh, you've heard a song and uh, I hope you liked that song or parts of the song that I showed. And uh, Dad, tell something what you felt first time I, I showed you that song. Yeah, you see, yesterday we actually were in the closing stage of this project and 
for the first time we had something that you can really use musical. And George took care of it, took it upstairs and after an hour or so he called me upstairs and showed me what he's done. And I listened to it and it, it sounded just great, awesome. I asked him, what part of it did you do with our wavetable synthesizer? He smiled and said, everything needs, everything. And boy, that was an emotional moment. Three months of work. Hard work as Hard well. work. And, and there were moments where I wanted to take the whole project and just throw it away. Um, but we never gave up. And, and now this, and it was really, as I said, emotional. Yeah. This, all this perseverance has paid off. Yes. And uh, the schematics and software and all of that for this build will follow on the website somewhere in the next couple of days. And uh, of course, we're going to go into how you make the synthesizer in the next video. And again, as every week or every two weeks now. Yes. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next week. If you want to see my work in action, check out my Instagram, that's at georgekmusic. Or check me out on Spotify, that's also George K. Check out our website, fatherandsynthesizer.wordpress.com. That's where we have all of our build data and schematics. And uh, we hope to see you again in two weeks. Thank you very much for watching and remember, stay, stay curious. curious.